As a child, PJ McGuire dreamed of being an inventor. In 2015, her dream came true. She created a product that took the beauty industry by storm. PJ joining us now to chat about the wrapper her unique drying towel and styling towel. Hello. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. This is super exciting because you're local, you're in our yes. community, and you're an entrepreneur. And this is what we absolutely love. So first of all, uh, this is big because you were just on Shopping Network. Yes, I was on HSN Monday night mm -hmm. at uh, 6 o'clock. Look at you. Oh, wow. Wow. So where are you from in Chicago? I live in River North. Okay, nice, nice. Well, let's get right into it. Show us this product that is just taking over the beauty industry. Wonderful. So this is Wrap Roo. So what I invented is a t-shirt hair towel that transforms into a protective cape. Okay. So the light gray side is your t-shirt towel, super soft. The black side is going to be both water and heat resistant. So what you do when your hair is wet and you're in the shower, mm -hmm. you just take it and you give it a nice twist. Okay. Pull it up. Your hair gets twisted inside of the towel. But Look one of that. the best parts is it'll actually stay on your head. Yes. You can shave your legs, do all your hair and beauty routine in the shower while your hair is actually starting to dry. Now what's really great is that it now transforms into a cape. So very sturdy Velcro here. You just take it down and give it a flip. And once you flip it, you now have a cape. Oh my goodness. So as those drips and the products and the sprays mm -hmm. and all that stuff gets absorbed into this side, but because the opposite side is both water and heat resistant, anything that lands won't soak all the way through. So you stay clean and dry underneath. Oh my goodness. I just love that because it's, it's something that's so simple, but it's not. How did you come up with something like this? Well, the entire thing started because I was getting ready one morning, and of course I was running late uh -huh. because that's just life. That's how, and that's how life as a woman. Really, it seriously <laughs> is. And I realized that my hair just wasn't quite shiny enough, and I needed a little extra. Uh -huh. I ran back in the bathroom. I was putting in some hair product, and it landed on a white silk blouse. Mm. And I literally just had the, like, the aha 100% silk. 100% so. so may that silk rest in peace. Oh, yes, it's um, gone. <laughs> Dry cleaner this is amazing. It. Just as a minority perfect. businesswoman from our community, what would be your tip to someone else that has an idea that they're just they don't know what to do with it? Well, what I would say is probably the number one thing is to do all of the work yourself at the beginning. If you have a product that's made out of textiles, source your own fabric, find your own vendors. I hear so many horror stories of people inventing a product that get taken advantage of by these mm -hmm. companies who charge thousands and thousands of dollars to bring their product to market. And at the end of the day, they still don't have anything. So my advice is do the work yourself. Learn how to sew, learn how to make whatever it is your invention is, just so you have an idea of what cost should be for the different components and the entire process of making it. I love it. I love it. All right, folks. Well, check out Rapparoo.com for more info. PJ, thank you so much. Thank and we're going to be looking me. for more from you, okay? I appreciate it. All right. Thanks so much.